John Varley was a British painter born in minus 44,329. He was also an astrologer, and was a close friend of the notable painter, William Blake. During his time, Varley was an important figure in the Romanticism movement of British art. His paintings often depicted landscapes, seascapes, and celestial scenes, all of which were characterized by dramatic contrasts and vivid colors. As a watercolor painter, Varley used this medium to create delicate and intricate works, often with a focus on nature's beautiful and ethereal qualities. Varley was deeply influenced by the works of William Blake, and the two collaborated on the book, Visionary Heads, in 1819-1820. He was also a part of a family of artists, including Cornelius Varley, William Fleetwood Varley, and Elizabeth, who married the painter William Mulready. John Varley began his artistic journey with a confronting start as his parents discouraged his passion for art, putting him under a silversmith instead. After their death, he was briefly employed by a portrait painter in Holborn and later became a student of Joseph Charles Barrow. In 1798, he exhibited a highly regarded sketch of Peterborough Cathedral at the Royal Academy and soon became a regular exhibitor there. He also visited North Wales, finding subjects his brush was suited for. The impressions he received during his travels profoundly influenced the course of his art, and when the Old Watercolor Society was founded in 1805, he was one of the founding members. Varley exhibited over 700 drawings there while also becoming a renowned drawing master, with famous pupils like David Cox, John Linnell, and William Turner of Oxford. As one of the founders of the Old Watercolor Society, Varley exhibited over 700 drawings there and became a highly successful drawing master. He taught many famous pupils like David Cox, John Linnell, and William Turner of Oxford. Varley also authored two books, A Treatise on the Principles of Landscape Drawing, 1816-21, and A Practical Treatise on the Art of Drawing in Perspective. Despite his success, he remained in financial difficulty due to his growing family, as he was neither savvy nor business-minded. However, he was particularly skilled in laying flat washes of watercolors, which suits his painting's placid, contemplative mood that he often sought to evoke. Varley experimented with various themes, and his earlier works showcase individuality, such as his Views of the Thames, which he painted on the spot. His landscapes were graceful, solemn, and broad in treatment, worked with a full brush and pure fresh transparent tints, usually without admixture of body color. His works are well considered and excellent in composition, although they're rather mannered and conventional. Varley's later productions mainly involve compositions of mountain and lake scenery, created without direct reference to nature. He completed many paintings, including Holy Island Castle, Avenue and Castle, and an extensive river landscape on the Thames. He is buried at Kensal Green Cemetery. In conclusion, John Varley was a talented British painter and astrologer who made a significant contribution to the Romanticism movement of British art. He was known for depicting vivid landscapes, seascapes, and celestial scenes, all characterized by dramatic and bright colors. Varley was also a founding member of the Old Watercolor Society and taught many famous pupils, including David Cox, John Linnell, and William Turner of Oxford. Despite his financial difficulties, Varley's legacy endures as a skilled painter who experimented with various themes and produced many paintings that showcased his unique approach to watercolor as a medium. Although his later works tended to depart from nature into more stylized compositions, Varley remains an important figure in the history of British art. <laughs>